Fifteen seconds to air. Stand by, all cameras. Ready with slow motion and isolated cameras. Stand by, videotape and roll tape. And tape is rolling in less than five, in three, two, one. Take tape. Before we go to get started, I want to let you know we had a little bit of a mix-up when I was moving everything around and something got reflected. So this guy right here, he's actually on the wrong side of the field. You'll see it corrected later on, but he should be moving over to this side, this positioning over here. So you'll see that. Just sorry about that, but you'll see it through the video. It does get corrected. Here, here we're looking at the coin toss. This is how the field should basically be laid out with the players on the field right now. So just so we've got our bearings straight, this is going to be the chain side of the field over here and usually that'll be the visitor side and this is going to be the press box and traditionally the home side of the field so now we'll also say that we're going to say that the scoreboard is at this end of the field so now once we've got everything laid out, let's go through where everyone is at. So on the visitor side, we'll call this visitor side, this is the home side, just keep everything in line right here. And Scoreboard is down here again. Over here closest to the scoreboard on the visitor side is the umpire. Then next to him will be the back judge. And then maybe over here, or maybe going through his pre with the chain crew, but on this side of the field, you're going to have your head linesman. Then on the home side, closest to the scoreboard, you're going to have your line judge and your referee. You guys remember that, that your referee should be facing the scoreboard during the coin toss. Additionally, if we zoom in on the line judge and over here on the back judge, you'll see they both have a football with them when we're going to come out to the field. Okay, so the clock's running down. You want to make sure you get your, if you're a wing official on your sideline, make sure you have your captains ready to the sideline with one minute left on the clock, as shown here. And as ever, you know, a lot of things are going to happen. You know, you won't get them there in a minute, but make sure you try and get them there with some time. As a referee, introduce yourselves. Umpire, introduce yourselves. Kind of go over them a little bit, what's going to happen, just in case so there aren't any mistakes. So this looks crisp, because... If you mess up the mechanics on the coin toss, everyone in the crowd sees it, it's going to be a long night where they're going to be questioning you on everything just because of your mechanics were awful on the first play. So once we come to about five seconds left, I want to make sure everything's clear. The referee, line judge, everyone, once they're ready, will put their hands up. Once everybody's hands are up, that's when we start moving out. And how we'll do that is going to look like this. So we'll have the wing official, the captains, and the referee, we're just going to do this side now, and we'll talk about it. it's going to be going on at the same time on the other side as well. So they're all going to start moving out to the center of the field. And I remember, this is an NFL field, so I'm just going to have to deal with that. But once you get to where the hash marks, the hash marks would probably be out, would be, the hash marks would be right about here on a high school field. The wing official who has the ball is going to stop walking with everyone else and move on to the 50 yard line whereas the referee and the captains will continue moving into the middle of the field now if we turn around to the other side now you have to imagine that this is going on at the same time as all that just happened before the head linesman is going to stay on the sideline but your back judge your captains and your umpire are all going to walk out as well and when we get to that middle spot where the hash marks would be that the back judge is going to come in as well right there and the captains and the umpire will continue moving into the middle now when you get to this middle part there's been a lot of things about teams I want to introduce themselves there's nothing that says they have to shake hands 
So what I do, and I learned this from other referees, is as a referee, this guy here, what I will do is, oh, when I'm over here at the sideline, I'll introduce myself to him, I'm Mr. Ford, I'm Mr. Lewin, da da da, da go through the whole thing. What I'll do is I, when I walk out, I'll tell these guys to stop right about here, then I will come, I'll move over to this side, move over to this side over here, talk to this captain, say, Mr. Chevy, I'm Mr. Lewin, I'll be the referee. This over here is Mr. Ford. Why don't you guys shake hands and introduce yourselves? And it kind of dis dismantles a lot when you've got that going through. Have them introduce yourselves. So then you're going to be in the middle. That You'll be in the middle there. The umpire, whoa, right there. The umpire will do the same. And he will go to the middle. And then we'll start right there. Go to the middle right there. And you'll be facing each other. You'll go through a spiel, which... All you need to do is the Florida High School contest officials pregame sportsmanship statement. Once you do that, you go through, you do the coin toss, which we'll get into in depth with the referees video. So now let's say you've done all things and you know that the yellow team is going to be kicking in this direction over to this side of the screen. So you want to place them so that they're facing each other, so looking at each other. So basically what we would do is we would take everyone and we would rotate them so that they're facing in the direction that they're going to kick just like that and the referee if this was the ref this is the referee he would face the press box which is over in this direction and he would move over to the, with these guys the referee would move over with these guys and he would give the signals for what happened until the captains come together, we're going to play a good football game, and then the entire crew would come together and go over all the information from the kickoff, from the coin toss.